Illinois Senator Dick Durbin is also reacting to President Trump's COVID-19 diagnosis. WGN's Julian Cruz live at Mount Sinai Hospital in Chicago with more on that part of the story. Julian. Dick Durbin in Chicago for a press conference at Mount Sinai on the Affordable Care Act. Durbin waking up to the news that President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump have tested positive for COVID-19. Let me start by saying uh, we wish them a complete and speedy recovery. Politics aside, uh, this is a moment for us to come together and as we should with every person facing this challenge and wish them the very best care and the very best results as quickly as possible. Durbin reacting to the new reality in Washington with President Trump and Melania Trump now in quarantine receiving treatment for the COVID-19 virus. The senator, like so many other Americans, waking up to the startling news today. But Durbin here at Mount Sinai Hospital worried about the future of Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act. The senator pointing to the vacancy on the U.S. Supreme Court and the concern among Democrats fearing that the next court will strike down the Affordable Care Act. But Trump's sudden illness casting a shadow on the days ahead as the president and his doctors assess his ongoing response to treatment. So there has to be candor and openness uh, because we're talking about the leader of the free world who has an extraordinary power and extraordinary responsibility. And uh, we want to know if he's up to the job. They said initially this shouldn't disrupt any of his activities. I hope that is the case. Uh, but we need to monitor it carefully. Durbin says that it is too soon to discuss the constitutional process of secession should Mr. Trump become incapacitated by the deadly virus. In Lawndale, Julian Cruz, WGN News.